You're watching Spooky Noodles Channel. Subscribe or be my victim. Hello, guys. What is up? Welcome to my channel. There's a little bit of a glare on my glasses, so if I every once in a while I look down like this and you see the glare, I apologize. Um, I'm watching my sister's dog. And he's getting into trouble. So if you see me turn around every few seconds, I apologize. But today we are here for a review for Bloodlands by Brian G. Berry. Um, this book comes in at like 195 pages, I believe. Yep. And uh, yeah, so this is a novel, a slasher novel. And it's really good. I'm just going to throw that out there. Really good book. Um, but... I will read the synopsis first, then we'll go into my review, then we'll talk about it a little bit. So, here we go. So, here's the synopsis. Sorry about that. Dog started playing, had to pause. Plus, I was stumbling over the read, so gonna redo that. Here we go. Charles Warner, convicted mass killer in what has come to be known as the Venice Beach Massacre, is being transported upstate to Hollow Falls Sanatorium when an accident sets him free. Now loose on the dark streets lurking in the shadows, Warner has one thing on his mind, finishing what he started. And for the crew of Silverside Lanes, forced into working overtime, their night quickly becomes a nightmare when Warner smells blood. Inspired by the gritty slashers of the 70s and 80s, Blood Lanes is the second release in the Slasherback series. So yeah, I skipped book number one, I guess, because I didn't know there was a book number one. I just saw this really cool cover and had to get the book. Um, cool wrap around. Um, I love this book. This scene does happen in the book. Uh, so I don't want to ruin that it for you, but this does happen. Sometimes covers don't have scenes from the actual book, but um, this one definitely happens. So yeah, um, I'm gonna read you my review now. So uh, here we go. Um, let me scroll down a little bit. So here we go. Here's my review. Heads will roll in this intense slasher story. Yes, you heard me right. Heads will roll, darn it. This story by Brian G. Berry was an incredible ride. Warner was an intimidating force that couldn't be reckoned with, and I enjoyed the kills this book had in store for me. This book is about the employees of Silverside Lanes. The employees are forced by their boss, Mr. Swalecki, to tidy the place up before the owner of the lanes comes, came in the next day. I should say something like the following day, but whatever. Uh, uh, what they don't know is that an escaped murderer, I, I typed in murder, I meant to say murderer, is continuing his killing spree and his eyes are set on the bowling alley they work at. A thrilling slasher story with creative kills. What more could you ask for? I had a blast with this book. I was trying to guess who was going to survive while turning the pages. And I was so freaking close to getting it right. This book has a few editorial issues, but nothing I couldn't look past. I truly enjoyed this story. And I think any fan of 80s slasher flicks will like this one too. So remember your lane courtesy as you step up to take your shot with this book. If you're anything like me, you'll also give this book a roaring five stars. Fantastic read, and I cannot wait to read more by this author. So yes, um, one of the reasons why I got this book is because I, myself, am a bowler. Don't believe me? Play the clip! Play the clip! I actually bowl the strike! Yes! Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Um... <laughs> Sorry, uh, I don't know why I got a little th theatrical there, but uh, yeah, no, I, this, I actually have a clip of me bowling a strike, um, and I'll play that now. So that was me bowling a strike, um, and uh, yeah, that's proof that I can bowl. Um, am I a great bowler? Not really. Um, but, uh, yeah, <laughs> I bowl, I think my highest game was like a 250 or something like that. Maybe 264, maybe. 
Um, but uh, it was like 250 to 265. I don't remember. It could even be 268 for all I know. But all I know is that uh, I got thrown off and I couldn't. I like I bowled a turkey in the beginning of the game, which is three strikes in a row. And then I think I I threw a gutter immediately, and then and then and then missed the spare, and then I struck out from there. So I don't really remember my score exactly my, for my highest game. I just remember really goofing up in the beginning of the game, but then I struck out for like seven frames. So yeah, that's 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 my story, you know. And I'm not a clutch performer. Like even though I was always the anchor of my bowling team, it was only because I didn't want to be the first one to bowl on it, it, before the game started. You know, I wanted to be the last one up on the lanes. So I wasn't a very good anchor. Meaning, uh, if you don't know bowling terminology, uh, an anchor is, the, well, the bottom of the team, like the last one to go up to the lanes. Um, they usually are the ones who have to, like, like if you needed a spare or a strike and to win the game, the anchor is the one to bowl that. So all the pressure is on the anchor, you know. So I was never good under pressure, so I was never a clutch performer. But anyways, <laughs> I'm getting a little out of hand here. Um... Yes, I am a bowler. If that's not evident from everything I just said, then I don't know how to prove it to you that I am a bowler. But um, yeah, I am a massive fan of bowling. And one of my dreams was to make a horror-themed bowling story, or a bowling-themed horror story, if you will. And um, when I saw Aaron Beauregard post this on Facebook, this book, Blood Lanes by Brian G. Berry, I was ecstatic to find that there is a slasher, a slasher about a bowling alley. I was like, wow, I have to get my hands on this book and read it immediately. So that's what I did. I read this immediately. And right after I read uh, Daniel J. Volpe's book and uh, wow, um, except like there's a few editorial issues, like I said before, um, there's like sometimes there's words that shouldn't exactly be there or maybe words that were like were, were supposed to be there. Like, I don't know. Uh, um, they, they weren't big problems for me. I was able to understand what the author was trying to, you know, get with his wording. You know, I wasn't going to throw a fit over some, you know, errors like that. Because the story is incredible, um, and I really enjoyed the slasher book that this this book provided. I'm in a really big slasher mood after Halloween. I watched the Halloween movie with Michael Myers, um, The Shape, if you will. Uh, what is it called? The 2018 Halloween movie. The one that has the new sequel out called Halloween Kills, which I really want to see, by the way. Um, there's actually a few movies I want to see, like Antlers. I want to see that one. I've been waiting for that one forever, almost as long as I was waiting for Candyman. Actually, I think I was. I think I saw the trailers at the same time. So, uh, yeah, I really want to see um, the Halloween Kills movie. But, um, like I said, Blood Lanes by Brian G. Berry. Super fun book. There's creative kills to be found. Like, <sighs> It was so much fun. Like the guys pitching bowling balls at people. It, it's 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 just it's just it's just all it's fun. And there's a scene in this book that actually kind of made me. It, it took one of my little tiny fears and like escalated it to a point where like I was like, oh yeah. And if you if you know the fear I'm talking about, bowlers out there who happen to watch this video, if I have any bowlers in my subscribers whatever uh <laughs> um yeah if you were a bowler or ever have gone bowling there's the ball return and they always say don't stick your hand in the ball return you know and that's always been a little bit of a fear of mine is to get my hand caught and have like a bowling ball come smashing and like destroying my hand breaking my finger bones but uh yeah, um, and then there goes my bowling career. Am I right? But um, yeah, there was a there was a scene in this book that got turned that fear and turned it on its head. It was really fun. Uh, there's a lot of good scenes in this book. Um, and the 
final person I thought was going to be the final person ended up not being the final person. So that was really cool. It had me guessing who was going to be the last person to live and yada, yada, yada. So I really did enjoy this book. I give it five stars for a reason. Um, but yeah, there. It, I don't know what to tell you. This book is so much fun. Um, and it's words can't really describe how much I enjoy this book. It's probably a top 10 favorite of mine. Um, j just for the fear enjoyment, uh, the fear, not, not the fear factor per se, but, uh, the, the enjoyment of the book that I, I enjoy this freaking book is what I'm trying to say. Okay. So I hope you understand it is seven o'clock in the morning. I am super tired, but I'm wired at the same time. I woke up and I was like, I'm awake. I'm going to go shoot a review. So, uh, yeah, I read this book last night and, uh, I finished this book last night or yesterday and um it was a lot of fun um and i hope one day to write a slasher story like this and now that i've read a slasher bowling alley story i don't have to write one myself although i do want to write a bowling alley horror story one day i kind of did with the vampire story i wrote but that's here nor there i don't know if that story is even any good but um yeah um and that was before I even found out about this book. So, yeah. Uh, sorry, uh, Miko is pouting in the background. So, if you can hear him pouting, I apologize. Uh, so, Miko, you're ruining the review, buddy. <laughs> Anyways. Um, um, so, yeah. If you ever need... If you never need... If you ever need any bowling advice, I am here for you guys because I am a massive bowler. Uh, I'm a pinhead. And, uh, yeah, so knock me down a peg. I don't know. I have no idea where this joke is going. Um, I'm getting distracted by a dog here, so I'm going to end the video. I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you have a spooky night. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out, guys.